my youtube channel i am rohit today we'll talk about the transform functions and the fd data so which is actually in the flow designer we'll talk that uh, today so what we are going to do that we'll discuss about the flow designer and then in the flow designer we'll use the transform uh, script and uh, we're going to use the transform functions and the fd data so without wasting time let's get started So if you see here in my document, I have created a little bit a documentation that what we are going to do that um, or what actually we are going to do that we are going to create a catalog item and the catalog item will have a two variable. One is the email ID, another will be amount and then this email ID will be uh, something like that and then amount will be like that. So once somebody put this uh, email address and this amount will create from this catalog item will create an incident and the, from the incident what we'll do we'll uh, set the short description equal to this one okay so we'll put this number we'll put this uh, domain name from here and then we'll put this number from here okay so let's start let i'll quickly create the catalog item and then if you want to skip that part you can go ahead and skip that so very first thing is that i'll go to the recicad item table and create a new catalog item called domain details something like that you can i, I put that uh, for the reference so here i'll put the domain details and then um, i'll copy the same name here and put the short description and save that so right now I'm in the San Diego version, but most of the function are available in lower version also. So if you are not in San Diego versions, you can still use those function, I believe, because most of the functions are available in your lower environment also. So if you uh, scroll down here, so this catalog item is uh, created. Now I'll create two variable. The first variable will be the email. So here, now uh, this is, will be your uh, first variable. I'll put that question equal to email. Order will be 100 and type will be email and save that. So this will be our first question. Now second question will be amount. I'll put that amount. The name will be amount and then order will be 200 and type will be that single line string. and I'll do insert and step. So that's pretty much simple catalog item as much as possible I have created. So let's go back to the catalog item now. Now if I try this catalog item this catalog item doesn't have any uh, we don't have set up anything right now so it is first asking that uh, email and then second is the amount so these two variable only available now i'll go back to the flow designer and design the flow for this catalog item so i'll copy this name maybe you can copy any of these so in this flow uh, designer i'll create a new flow i'll click here and then click the flow and in this flow, what I will do, I will put that name equal to domain details. So that's the catalog item. And then here you can see the run as, this is very important. So run as if you are trying to create something, if you are trying to do something, if you honor or want to honor the ACL, like created by everything will be show as a your name, then it will be show that user who initiate the session. So whoever you can, order the catalog item everything if you want to create the incident created by will be their name whoever is update that everything will be their name if you don't have access to that table system cannot be faced that even the ACL will be honored but if you want to honor I mean if you want to forcefully run this flow even you don't have access then select the system user so suppose you want to try to delete some incident but as a normal user you don't have access but you want to do by force in that case you select the system user so i will just click the system user for the timing and submit now our uh, this 
cat i mean this flow is ready and it's in an inactive state i have to select the trigger condition so in our case the trigger condition is the service catalog we will select the service catalog if you want to uh, put the any advanced condition you can put but i am not putting those details so i'll go here and click done and i'll put some actions so very first actions i'll uh, select that get variable so i'll select that one so get catalog variable i'll choose that one and here i have to select that uh, requested item table so i'll select the service catalog requested item here i need to select the template so i will select the template name is our case domain details i'll select that once i select that all the available variable on site on this template will be available i'll move those details here and click done okay now in these steps so in these steps first once the catalog item will be ordered if this flow will be triggered and this activity will grab all the variables details now what i have to do as per our document we have to create an incident with this sort description so let's go ahead first let me open the incident how it looks like so if i open the incident here and click new so very first thing is the mandatory field is the caller and then short description these two are mandatory so we'll put that so if i go back here uh, here i'll pick the actions and then i'll pick the insert search in the action insert or uh, it's i guess the name is create so you can see the first thing is called create record i'll choose that and here it is asking the table name so what our case is the incident table and then we'll set the first caller first field is the caller we'll set the caller and as we are not uh, setting the caller we will do something here i'll talk to that point later now next thing is that uh, you can directly select any of this caller i'll just select uh, any of this user call uh, here event tutor for the time being. we'll discuss that point later here we'll set the short description in the short description as i mentioned this will be my short description i'll copy these short descriptions and paste here but remember this is not a static here i am expecting a number which is the ritm number i'll click the pillar uh, click the here requested item click the requested item pillar here and then search with the number so by this it will return me the number and then from domain what i am expecting basically i am expecting the not the complete email address i am expecting that gmail.com this one okay so what i'll do i'll replace this one with here get variable and here i'll get the email address but in this email i don't want the complete email i want that dot com so what i'll do if you hover over you have a option called fx you have to click here once you click fx it will start loading and in this uh, loading you can see many function is available in our case we are dealing with the string so we'll come here and then split that okay and then uh, in this split we have to be uh, determined whether the input uh, string is a split we'll put add and apply what it will do it will be split it into two part now what we'll do instead of this two 20.1 i will uh, i will change that to number so i'll click here get variable amount and then here i'll click the fx here and then math in this math what we will do we will uh, do the two float and then number of digit how many after uh, point how many digit we want we want two number and click apply so this one is done 
Uh, so let's save and activate this flow. So this flow is now right now activated. I will go and in this catalog item, I will set this flow here. So in this process engine, I will select the flow domain details and save that. Now simply try it. Let's see, I'll put that abc at the gmail.com and return, I'll put that 20.12345c. So it should be as per expectation, it should become this two digit 20.12. So let me order that. This is ordered. Now if I go back to the incident table, there should be a newly created incident should be there. So first thing is that if you open that uh, this incident is getting created by uh, from my uh, details. But if you see here, uh, a uh, RIT number is populated and then it's do a two. I mean it's do a floating here. Uh, but this cannot be done by um, our um, split operation because we need the first second digit. So that's the reason it cannot be done. So the by point here is that you can uh, do multiple uh, functions or multiple, uh, you know, uh, uh, transform function you can use to apply in your actual data. You can see it contains, uh, if you see here contains, what it is saying that uh, it can be convert string to number, it can be, con does not contains ends with, all this operation can be done. Okay, even you can deal with the complex object, you can do the utility that the value is null or not, you can uh, deal with that key value mapping also. There are many things available, so people might not be available. I might not be know that we can use this transform um, function. Now you can see uh, this is the applied uh, transform. So these are the functions or uh, uh, transform function we have applied. So how this case this here, what are the function we have applied? Two fixed is applied. You can uh, um, add multiple uh, functions here, okay? And these are the available functions is uh, for you, so you can use that. So, so coming back to our second question, um, so coming back to our second question that we are unable to achieve this one that uh, name. How can we do that? Definitely we can do. There is a one more things that uh, we can do. So here, if you see instead of hard coded, we can run our own uh, script in each steps. For that, you have to click here. And then what we can do, we can use the FD data. From the FD data, we can, uh, uh, you know, operate many things. What we'll do, I will have to type the return and in the return, whatever value you want to return, you have to do. So in, in the caller, we have to pass the CIS ID of the current user. Let me say the GS dot uh, uh, get user ID. So this is the function which will return the current uh, locked in user. Uh, so we'll pass that on. In this case, also we will do what, what we can do. We can, uh, remove this whole line and then here we'll copy this complete num uh, here and then we can write the script so what we'll write that return uh, let's put the string so this is the string we are actually expecting in this number we have to be return the requested number so we'll do that so we'll uh, put the plus sign here and then we'll do fd dot underscore data dot. So if you see here, once we click the dot, it is uh, keep uh, popping up and here we can write the script. So previously we put the number from where we put the number from the trigger point and then requested number, right? So if I click the trigger point dot and then inside the trigger, whatever 
uh, variables is there we can be able to access so our case is a requested item so we'll select the requested item and then we will uh, select the any of this field our case is the number so we'll select the number so that way we can uh, set the number now what we'll do we have to be uh, here we have to do two things we have to create two variables here I'll create two variable called first var domain and in this domain what we'll store store that fd data dot and then this time it is popping up we'll select the first way the we should get from the variable so we'll select that step one dot it will coming the uh, you can say that uh, email so we we'll put that email and store here now what we'll do by the script what we can uh, do that domain array we can define the domain array and then we define the domain dot split here and then our split character is the at the rate and this time uh, so that if I uh, split here a at the rate b dot com so this will be the, our zero after this is our uh, you know uh, the split character then it will divide it into two array this first array is the a and second array will be dot com so this b dot com we need so what we'll do we will pass this domain array here to um, in this case so what we'll do I'll pass this domain array here uh, to index number one now coming back to the amount how we can use that so we'll do that so plus what we'll do fd data dot here we will get that uh, get variables then dot here we'll get that um, amount then then we'll put the two float And in bracket will pass two character so we need the tilde two character so it's actually not a float because we have to be use that uh, you know um, the uh, instead of float we have to use the two fixed function but before we use the fixed function remember amount we take as a um, string field we have to parse int into the integer so we'll cut this part here and then I'll define a var a amount or something like that and paste this line and to string something like that and then from here uh, var I will parse int and inside the parsing I'll put this amount and here I'll put the two fixed and I'll put the two digit and this value I am going to use here and let's save and activate now if I go back to this request here and then I order this and refresh the incident table let's see what value we are actually receiving now if you see uh, after refreshing that it is giving me the proper result and if, so basically uh, my point here is instead of this one my point is here you can still write the code inside the small piece of code and you can get the step uh, from that you can get the value from the previous steps and use that so that's it for today i hope you guys like my video thank you very much have a great day